Alright, welcome back to more of BS Randomizer. And we're just gonna go through another group of elemental levels. With our way overpowered sword here. Pretty much nothing is safe from these beams. Really, all I need to find is a gold ring. Not sure where that is, though. So I took out, I think, let's see, one, two, three, six, and nine on the last part. So we'll just continue along this line here. So I think at least a couple more levels are along this line. I'm excluding bonus levels. I'll do those later. So we'll go into here. Uh, this is level eight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've got a hammer by this point. Hopefully. That's probably why you don't want to go into these levels too early. Because a lot of these are going to require some... some items to get through. And you're going to get stopped pretty quickly if you don't have them. I still don't really get why most of the roots in this level are dark. This is what you're going to need your hammer for. I oh, might as well at least use that super quick once. It's just to show that off. You know, everything's like 75% off. Not that I need to buy anything at this point. And these moving sparks are just uh, traps. They're basically moving traps. Uh, they don't do any more damage than a you know, standard trap.
and you can see, you know, some of the is the numbered level doesn't mean it's more complicated. I mean, look at this map. You know, it's just a very small map to go through. Honestly, like level one and level six are probably more complicated. Turn. Yeah, we're just kind of picking up extra junk that we probably don't need. For anything. And right nearby level eight is level five. Yeah, kind of a lot of hidden stuff in this level. So if you don't have the feather, if you use your uh, whistle around here, you can make the extra tile appear to get to the boss key. So you do need at least a, a step ladder. Using the lens in every room doesn't hurt, you know, so you can find some secret passages. You know, pretty much can see the wreckage that's getting left behind in every room. in and out of half of these rooms in like five seconds. This little detour will take you over to this little side passage. And this is how you get to the item in this level. And we get the remote bomb. Yeah, unfortunately the remote bomb gets its own item slot. I think before you started with bombs and then actually went up to remote bombs and then upgraded that further. Uh, but here the remote bomb is its own item. So it's pretty limited use because it doesn't get any stronger.
I got another dig dogger. And not that like that's any different. And the gold hook shot, okay. I mean that's not a not a bad item. Alright, so we're just gonna move around the corner to get to some more levels. Now level 16 is actually where the where I went to that true arena. Uh, I'm gonna go into that later. I mean it's not hard, it's just takes a while to get through. Bonus levels I'll do maybe in its own separate part. I mean, a lot of them are pretty short to go through. Uh, but we're going to this level. Level 4. So that's just a little note there. Yeah, all expansions are going to be outside. So if you're short in expansion, uh, hopefully you bought that little green item compass thing. So it should tell you where you're missing something. Shaped kind of like a diamond, I guess. Like a gem or something. This level is actually very linear because uh, it gets one to one, you know, keys the locks, and you don't have to go that far before you need another key. Getting some of the wall masters before they you know, barely pop out of the walls. Now there is something in this room. You know, just an FYI. And there's the red little life shot thing. I guess it's decently useful if you got a lot of health to spare. But usually you're gonna have better weapons anyway. That's almost like a last ditch effort. Uh, 
piece of heart there. Uh, level 2 lens, okay. That's not that useful. I'm surprised I don't have the mirror shield yet. I wonder where that is. Still to use arrows to open this, but I think other unless he corrected it, other weapons can open this. I mean, that's okay to use the crossbow because that's still considered, you know, arrows, and I think that's at least silver arrow strength. Yeah, might as well take a look in here. Going to level X, you know, basically just to get the two items out of this place. I yeah, need the whole Triforce before going in here. I thought you would come in here early. There's a block there, and it makes a bunch of water appear in this room. Otherwise, the room is just open land. Now, if you don't have gold arrows, uh, the gold hook shot actually works. At least I think it works. I, I should have tried it out there, actually, but I know gold arrows definitely, as you just saw there. since I have, you know, those infinite spread beams. I kind of figure it's looking like it's best to bring flippers here. <laughs> Some of these later areas just become all water.
picking up more useless keys that I don't need. And we got the, uh, it's supposed to be like an empty, just a glass bottle. It doesn't even show up in the inventory because I already bought potions. So I think it costs money to recharge some life. I don't know how much life it exactly gives you. But honestly, it's just, you know, cheaper to buy the potions. Especially if you have the uh, wealth medals that go along with them. Pretty much, uh, Bat Rose will cower in fear to this sword. It doesn't matter how many bats they can spawn, this thing just pierces everything. Even ten bat robes, uh, that, that's nothing. Just few just throw a few of these uh, sword beams out, you'll probably clear out the entire room. That's a clue for... there's a little more to this level, but we're not going to do that yet. And here you got Patra 3. Yeah, the two items I have right now, that ring and the, the spread sword, is pretty much a Patra 3's worst enemy. Because both pierce, both do huge damage. And you see how fast I broke that thing apart. And look at this heart container. There is something more to this room, but I'm not gonna do that yet. See what else is nearby in this area. I think there's one more, one more level that's nearby. We've <laughs> done quite a number of levels in this part. Was it was eight, five, four. Level X. I might as well go in here. Level 13. So it starts picking up in difficulty a little bit. Now, if you don't have the magic key, you probably would start to the right. You know, pick up as many keys as you can. Uh, but since I have magic key, I'll just go left. Pretty much you're going to be stocking up some keys to essentially get to the item in this level. But again, I have magic keys, so it doesn't even matter. I realize those wind ropes can spawn right in front of the door like that. And 
even though I have no mirror shield, well, that doesn't really matter because I can uh, hit the, attack the fire Gliok in its blind spot. Because it can't get, the fire can't reach these corners, and which is exactly where I can, you know, those beams can attack from. Actually, my, uh, the ring actually does the same thing. There's the mirror shield. Well, I guess don't have to worry about not being on the block fire. And again, you can look at this map, it's like really short really short level. Oh, now I can start throwing all these fireballs back. And before you go get the key, use your whistle in this room. Now, if in doubt, always use the lens of truth because it'll reveal those types of passages. Oops, I didn't get the key there. There we go. That's not really gonna matter. Because I can be able to clean out of the room at my convenience. And this room's just more annoying than anything. Not that I need to clear this room. Again, I don't need any keys. It was just to show you. be the little ring I got here. Oh, hey, a fairy. And uh, the red whimsical ring, okay. levels. I'm trying to see where to go next after this. Um, well, I really cleaned up around the outside, or well, except for level 16. And there's at least, I think, two levels down at the bottom here. Another cluster up on the top as well. So I'll probably start working on the kind of the upper borders. Uh, we'll do that in the next part. Go through another cluster of uh, elemental levels. Alright, see you guys later.